The largest ever image of the Andromeda Galaxy has been unveiled. This is built from Hubble Space Telescope data, using more than 600 images collected over more than 10 years. The full-size mosaic image shows the glow of approximately 200 million stars across 2.5 billion pixels. This is even only accounting for the stars that Hubble can see, which means in this case that they need to be at least as bright as our sun. Since many stars in the universe are not that bright, we can estimate that Andromeda actually contains at least one trillion stars. We now know of approximately a trillion galaxies in the universe, but one of them still feels special. It's the galactic neighbor to our own Milky Way galaxy, and it can be seen with the naked eye on a clear night. Although it does just look like a small smudge on the sky. It takes the power of something like Hubble to get this kind of detail. Andromeda, also known as Messier 31, is about 2.5 million light years away, and each new image we get teaches us something new about it. Photographing it is also incredibly difficult, because the galaxy is much, much bigger than Hubble's field of view, so it takes a long time to get this kind of image. In fact, it took Hubble over a thousand orbits of the Earth, 10 years and two observation programs to get the data used in this new mosaic. It's also worth mentioning here that new and future telescopes could cover this area much faster than the aging Hubble, with their much bigger fields of view. JWST is similarly small, as it and Hubble are designed for zooming in on distant objects that are so far away that they appear tiny on the sky. However, the new telescope Euclid, which is surveying the sky as we speak, has a much, much larger field of view and could image all of Andromeda in half a day or so. And the future Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will also have an enormous field of view. For now though, let's stay focused on Hubble and its new image of Andromeda. The northern part of Andromeda was imaged during the FAT program, the Panchromatic Hubble Andromeda Treasury program. As part of this, Hubble took images of Andy in all of visible light, infrared light, and ultraviolet light. This was then followed by the FAST program, the Panchromatic Hubble Andromeda Southern Treasury, and this added images of approximately 100 million stars in the south of the galaxy. Together, these two programs have covered the entire disk of Andromeda, seen here almost edge-on, but it is tilted 77 degrees relative to our view from Earth. The southern part of Andromeda that FAST imaged is very sensitive to Andromeda's evolutionary history and tells us that its past is very different to that of the Milky Way. Even though we think our galaxy and Andromeda formed at roughly the same time billions of years ago, Andromeda seems to have many more young stars than our galaxy does. This is due to ongoing star formation that suggests it underwent a merger or interaction with another galaxy quite recently, and definitely more recently than our galaxy has interacted with another. One candidate for this interaction is the compact satellite galaxy Messier 32, which looks more like a stripped-back core of a once spiral galaxy. The two surveys that Hubble has done of Andromeda have taught us about the age, the amount of heavy elements present in the galaxy, and the masses of the stars too. This can help us make better and better predictions about what happened to Andromeda in the past, whether it interacted with one or multiple galaxies, how they affected its evolution, and what might happen in the future. Leave me any other questions or comments you have down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this incredible new view we have of Andromeda. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description where you can download the image yourself in high resolution to explore it on your own. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.